Hi guys, just received the DYS ELF micro quad with the specialty of brushless motors. It also has a FreeSky compatible radio. In Syria I could use this quad with the Tyrannis. I also got this little radio here. They supply you a 2S LiPo charger, and some spare props. Two cells, 600 milliamps with 25C battery. And I didn't charge, I, I know I should have, but I didn't charge the battery here. A bit dangerous. Okay, I just had to learn that this is the arm switch and down position is armed. Let's see if it flies. Yes, it flies. <laughs> it really flies. I can't believe it. And I also have an image here. Yeah, it has a nice OSD. It shows you the voltage and the flight times. You can switch with this three position switch here. You can shoot the beeper with this here. This is maybe a mode switch. We will find out later. Can't believe how easy it is these days. I think the antenna is on the bottom under the battery. We will see about the range. Though somewhere I read that it, is, it has 25 milliwatts or 200 milliwatts switchable and about 300 meters of range. We will see about this. In the right mode? I'm now in angle mode. <laughs> Oh, it's really stable in angle mode. Oh. <laughs> okay. Definitely need to go out and use the acro mode. Okay, so I'm outside now. The flight acro. Oh. I need some more training. Really nice, but I miss the Tyrannis. I need some more Expo. The rates are kind of scary. For a first flight, really nice. Really decent, definitely powerful little quad. I got it with this remote here, which is a FreeSky compatible one. Not too bad, but it only has one model storage. It has a display, DYS. And yeah, you can see the server movements, which is really a nice function. Reverse channel mapping, dual radiant expo mixes, setup, bind, and firmware version. So, really a pretty basic radio, some triple A and a loops. The form factor, as you see, is quite smaller than the Tyrannis, so this is nice. But the gimbals, I mean, they don't feel that bad. I just switched from flying with this to this, and I have so much more precision with this. So, if you don't have a decent radio, you can go with this and you can have some fun, but you will not fly as good as with a bigger radio. That's at least my experience here from flying with it. And binding it to the Tyrannis was really easy.
You just have to turn on the quad without any transmitters, so the receiver goes into bind mode. Then you turn on your Tyrannis with a standard model and go into the bind with the D8 mode. So D8, bind, and you're good to go. Then I um, connected it with beta flight configurator to set my switches accordingly. So I have, this is the arm switch. Uh, this is my mode switch, which is manual and air mode, angle and horizon. Indoors I all, always fly in angle mode. Yeah, and this is my beeper. It's cool if you lost the model and if it has still battery left. This tiny antenna here, I took it out, so it is here. Yeah, it's still right next to the battery, but it's uh, not under the battery and near the PDB, which is a bad idea. And I did some shock protection here on the feet because I feel if you bump too fast into the ground, uh, it will break the motor arms like I already broke two of them. Props are not easy to break. I had some crashes and didn't break. I mean, I bent a few of the leaves, but it's okay. Battery mod, I got rid of the cage below there and just hot glued on some Velcro. Same on the batteries. Those, are, those types fit in. Just watch the polarity black on this side. These batteries, I had them lying around. Those are two cell 400 milliamps. They were quite nice. Actually, I think they are better than standard batteries that come with it. These are 600 milliamps. You fly a bit longer, but it's, it feels heavier with it. And it comes pre configured in 200 milliwatt, I'm quite sure. Because with the antenna outside, I can fly in my whole house, which is nice. This is the Fat B with 25 milliwatts, one hand away from the antenna. And it gives me 34, 33, around on 70, 40. And as the comparison, one hand away from the antenna. Here is the antenna routed outwards now. And I get 24, 22, 20. Yeah, those are changing read, very much changing readings. I'm on this low channel here. 26, 56, 60. So it's definitely more than 25 milliwatts. And it's of course a good idea to route the antenna outwards. And I could fly around in the house quite nice with these settings.
Thanks for watching.